Episode 8 is upon us, my friends. Welcome on in. Eight episodes. Technically seven episodes in. And this is number eight. Hope you guys are doing well today. The seven participants that we have so far. Spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. I'm actually really impressed with the Season 10 Championship, how it's coming along so far. But which one of these 30 want to join the seven others that have already made it in? We have Road Pig, Stay Puff, Plankton, Kato, Captain Kangaroo, Destro, and Super Grover. So we're about to find out who number one is and number two. Will number one or number two go coast to coast? I'm still waiting for a coast to coast. Like I said, every video, hopefully we get one sometime this season. But who's number one? Mambra from Third World Earth from the Thundercats. Whoa. Mumra does not look happy that he is number one. Mumra! Appropriate music for him for his entrance. I'm pretty impressed with that. So it's also appropriate that episode eight, well, we're at the WrestleMania 8 arena. Why not, right? If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe already. Ah. Now, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, I understand. But I would love to see more people subscribe and for more people to go watch the older videos. I mean, a lot of the older videos are getting hit pretty hard with the views, so I'm sure you guys are going back like I asked you to. Don't forget to like and share these videos as well. And comment if you would like. Who is Bummer going to go against in episode number eight? Who is Bummer's first opponent? I think Bummer will go coast to coast. Ooh. We got Braun Strowman music, so it's going to be a big man here. It's Bane! Bane! Bane has not done very well since season eight when Bane won a rumble. Other than, whoa, hello. Uh, Bane has not won a rumble since sometime in season eight. So Bane needs to step up and win a rumble. He's got the ability to win a rumble, but he's just is lacking in something. And I don't know what it is yet. So hopefully sometime this season, Bane can win a rumble. Whoa, whoa. Great entrance for Bane, I tell ya. Bane and Mumbra, one and two. I like the beginning of this rumble. I like this matchup. Bane with a beautiful clothesline to start things off. Bane from the second rope. Totally misses. Mumbra stomps on him. Now, ooh, Mumbra's trying to give him a little soldier massage, saying good, good job at your move, but you miss. Bane misses again. Now Bane blocks. Headbutts Mumra from behind. Sleeper backbreaker, I guess. And then he just shoves him out of the way. Mumra slips underneath the legs. Misses. Here comes Rocky Balboa at number three. Reversal from Mumra to Bane. Bane with a reversal. Now Rocky from behind. Mumra with an elbow under Rocky. From behind, Bane hits Rocky. Pump handle slam into a backbreaker. Gorilla press. Down, Mumra goes. Rocky with a clothesline from behind. Now he picks up Mumra. Bane interferes in that. Ooh, an inverted atomic drop from Mumra onto Rocky. The return of Kirby, my friends. His tag team partner and good friend Pac Man from. 2K23. Remember, former tag team champion when we were trying to do a season during the Rumbles as well. Kirby and Pac-Man won the tag team titles from 
Uh, Carnage and Venom. So Kirby's got that, you know, former tag team champion. Who knows? I may try that again. I haven't decided yet. And like I said, I may try and also do 2K23 stuff for Rumbles again. I don't know. I just have to find the time. Nice backdrop from Rocky on a Mumra. Here comes Whoopoo! Whoopoo! Whoopoo and nice slam on Kirby. Rocky and Whoopoo. Bane thrown over, but not out. Now Mumra and Rocky. A regular atomic drop, then a drop kick onto Rocky from Mumra. What a high kick there from Bane. Ooh, nice backbreaker from Bane onto Mumra. <laughs> I believe this is the debut of Firefly. Firefly is from the G.I. Joe series. One of Cobra Commander's mini minions that he had. Firefly was one of my favorite um, toys growing up for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because of the camouflage? I don't know. I mean, he had a cool name, Firefly. So, I saw Firefly. I thought we'd bring him in. Wolpo just got DDT. Here comes Charizard at number seven. Kirby breaks out of whatever Bane was going to do. Look at this move from Mumra on to Wapo. Wapo looks confused with his eyes. Rocky Balboa in the corner. What a power bomb from Charizard onto Bane. Charizard picks up Mumra. Bane kind of stretches out. Follow away slam from Charizard on Mumra. Charizard with the clothesline. Firefly trying to get rid of Rocky. Kirby finally getting up. Mumra meets him. Charizard has been eliminated by Wolpo. Wow, Wolpo just eliminated Charizard like he was nothing. Mad Clown at number eight. Is Kirby going to be second to be eliminated? No. Can't believe that performance from Charizard. Wow. That was kind of sad, Charizard. That's right. You go back and think about it. You know, maybe do better in your next performance. What a diamond cutter from Kirby. Whoa. We did a couple flips and then he's diamond cut at Bane. Nice neck breaker there from Firefly. Firefly with a clothesline onto Rocky. Then a standing moonsault. Bane thrown over by Wolpo. Can Wolpo get his second elimination? No. Body splash from Mumra on the Mad Clown. Short clothesline from Mumra on the Bane. Wolpo thrown in the corner. Wolpo with an elbow to Mumra's face. Firefly in the corner by Kirby. Here comes the return of Tigra. We haven't seen Tigra in quite a few seasons. One half of the Thundercats, or one fourth of the Thundercats, you guys, you could say. That clown can't get rid of Wolpo. Wolpo with a beautiful kick from the second rope. One of Mumra's enemies from the Thundercats is Tigra. Look at this strength from Kirby. Oh, what a front slam there. From Kirby on the Firefly. Firefly didn't see that coming. Short clothesline from Mumra. Oh, those knees to Mad Clown's face. Kirby's got some awesome moves going on here, my friends. Mad Clown is stunned, but he got smart and went underneath the ropes. Ooh, Firefly with a reverse pile or um, slam there. And Tiger has been eliminated already. Bane got rid of Tigra right away. Wow. That was a sad return, Tigra. Nice moves from Wopo on to Mad Clown. Both Kirby and Mummer missed their moves. Firefly trying to get rid of Bane. Firefly is done. His debut is done. Bane has, what, three eliminations? Two or three eliminations already. Mad Clown trying to get rid of Wolpo. Kirby trying to get rid of Rocky. Bane, can he get another elimination? Can he eliminate Mumra? And Mad Cloud has got rid of Wolpo. 
Matty Clown using his boxing skills on the Italian Stallion Rocky and Bane has yet another elimination. That's three or four eliminations. Here comes Luffy. Oh, Kirby interfered in that elimination. Rocky was almost going to get eliminated. Whoa, Kirby got some air there. Air Kirby. Whoa, nice arm drag from Kirby. Wow, where were all these moves before, Kirby? Jeez. There we go, the Italian Stallion, the Southpaw, using his boxing abilities on Mad Clown, another boxer. And Mad Clown's about to get eliminated by the Italian Stallion, Rocky Balboa, and he did. Luffy gets thrown over by Rocky and not eliminated. Here comes the Juggernaut 2, the Juggernaut Jr. What a debut he had a couple rumbles back. And now he is back. See how well he does in this one. Nice takedown from Kirby. Good nice Danny Mutal. Bulldog from Rocky on a Bane. Luffy and Rocky now. Luffy puts Rocky into the ropes and misses that big boot. Oh, what double knees on the Juggernaut 2 from Kirby. And Kirby is about to get rid of the Juggernaut Jr. And he hesitates. And he hits him and he's gone. Here comes Cobra Commander at number 12. Bane and Luffy. Nice throw there from Bane on Luffy. And Bane was number two, remember my friends. Bane has lasted a good amount of time. Now I just jinxed it. No, maybe not. Cobra Commander and Kirby. Kirby with a reversal. Now Kirby's taking Cobra Commander around the world. Nice bulldog from Bane on Luffy. And he just stomps on his face. Rocky trying to get rid of Kirby. Here comes the return of Chung Lee. At number 13, Chung Lee from Bloodsport movie. Let's see how well he does. He's done well, pretty well in the past rumbles. Kirby trying to get rid of Rocky. Luffy thrown over. Bane thrown into the ropes by Chung Lee. Ah, when I say Chung Lee, it's like I'm thinking Chung Lee from Street Fighter. And, ooh, Kirby cannot eliminate Rocky. One more hit on Kirby, Rocky, and he is stunned. He is stunned. Kirby is done, my friends. The Italian Stallion has yet another... No, he does not have another elimination. Here comes Slimer, number 14. Double T Bombay to try to get rid of him from Chung Lee and Rocky Balboa. Come on, Slimer. Notice that we have a stunned Kirby. Hello. What a stunner from Slimer on a Chung Lee. Rocky thrown in the corner. Slimer from behind onto Bane. Kirby, hello, look, we have a stun Chung Lee. But yet, no one pays attention. And Slimer has gotten rid of the Italian Stallion. The Southpaw, Rocky Balboa, has been eliminated by Slimer. Number 15, the return of Omega Red. Omega Red made his debut. Couple rumbles back, they did okay. Let's see how he does it, number 15. Beautiful Bulldog from Omega Red on to Cobra Commander. Luffy gets out of that hold from Bane. Now Luffy is going to try to eliminate Bane, and he does. Bane is out of here. Luffy must be proud of himself to get rid of that big man. They throw Luffy over, and oh, Chung Lee cannot finish the job. Omega Red is down. Kirby. Wow. Pedigree on Cobra Commander from Kirby. Ooh, whoa, whoa, Chung Lee. I thought Kirby had some decent moves. Look at Chung Lee, wow. Luffy stomps on Omega Red. And now with Big Boots. Here comes Cooler at 16. Last time we saw Cooler, he came in at a pretty early number and lasted to the end. So I think he can go a pretty good distance here. As long as he doesn't get stunned and thrown out. Skull crushing finale from Chug Lee on the Slimer. Kirby trying to get rid of Omega Red. Cooler is working on Cobra Commander's left arm right now. Chung Lee is going to try to eliminate Luffy. Ah, uh, nope. I decided not to. And he decides to kick him and then leave him alone. I'm loving it. Here comes Ronald McDonald. The main mascot of McDonald's. 
And Slimer has got rid of Cobra Commander. Isn't that sad that when you were growing up, we had a clown for a mascot for a burger place, and then all of a sudden he just kind of vanishes out of the blue? It's like, today's kids don't know about Ronald McDonald. You know, and it's like, McDonald's, you know, how they have their all new designs and, you know, back in the day, we had playgrounds at McDonald's. It was all about the kids. You know, we would have commercials on Saturday morning cartoons. Loved watching those. It's like, go up to Bob and Dad be like, I want a Happy Meal today, Bob, Dad. You know, or it's like, what do you want for dinner? I want McDonald's. I want McDonald's. No, we will not have McDonald's. You know, we'd always have to fight, you know, to go to McDonald's. But now, these days, McDonald's is just all eh, and really freaking expensive, I tell ya. I got a burger and a shake there the other day for 10 bucks. I was very disappointed in that price. But, you know, it is what it is. Here comes Wacko at number 18. Luffy thrown over, and Cooler cannot do anything. Wacko misses that dropkick. Omega Red is... Chilling on the outside, no one paying attention. Chug Lee is still in this. Wacko, standing sunset flip on a Chung Lee, and Chung Lee's head is hurt. Cooler and Chung and Luffy. Nice perfect flex there from Cooler on to Chung Lee. Ch or I'm on, sorry, Luffy. And Luffy is stunned. Double team on Omega Red from Ronald and Cooler. Double choke slam. Now Ronald and Cooler. Nice back. Tornado like hit there from Cooler on Ronald. Kirby into the corner. What's Omega Red doing to Ronald? I guess nothing. He was just kind of holding his face. Bring a center from Slimer onto Cooler. Ronald's not ready to go, Omega. Omega with a backbreaker on Ronald, another backbreaker, and he just tosses him out of the way. Is Luffy going to get another elimination? Is he going to eliminate Wacko Warner? Nope. He needs some help. He's like, come on, Omega, help me. Eliminate this little guy. Face buster from Kirby on to Chung Lee. Chung Lai? Is it Chung Lee or Chung Lai? I'm gonna call him Chung Lai. I haven't seen Bloodsport since the 80s, so I don't remember. Slimer thrown over by Chung Lai, and Chung Lai has eliminated him. I don't like saying Chung Lee. It reminds me, like I said, too much of Street Fighter. Chung Lai, did he get another elimination? No. Look at that, a triple crossroads from Omega Red on a Ronald, and Ronald is not stunned. Chung Lai. And Wacko Warner. Oh, what a slam there from Omega. In a clothesline. We have a stunned Luffy, guys. Nice reversal from Kirby onto Ronald. Whoa, look at Chung Lai. Look at that kick. Some decent moves there on Kirby. Kirby into the ropes. And Chung Lai with a super kick. And Kirby is out. No, Kirby is not out. Omega Red and Cooler. Snap suplex perhaps? No. We're going for the three amigos from Wacko Warner on to Luffy. Gargaros at number 19. And Chung Lee got Chung Lai. Pardon me, has gotten eliminated? How did I not see that? Kirby's got his match made for him now. Wow, look at this girl a press slam. Oh, Kirby got out of it. Poked him right in the eye. Baco trying to get rid of Luffy. Luffy's not ready to go. Gargaros and Cooler. Wacko and Ronald. And Ronald has gotten rid of Luffy? How did I not see that? But I just saw Wacko get eliminated. Wow, two quick eliminations. I, I don't know if they're both a model or not. Season 9 champ, the Blob at number 20. 
Super kick on Omega Red, and Cooler has eliminated Omega Red. Cooler goes right after the Season 9 champ, Blob, and Brain Busters, and right away, pick him up and eliminate him. Ronald is stunned. Gargaros is going to eliminate Ronald. Nice face buster there from Kirby on the Cooler. Gargaros with a chop on the Blob. The Blob throws Gargaros out. Kirby doesn't know what to do with the champ. So the Blob's like, I will take care of you. Gargaros gets the Blob down. Drop kick attempt there from Kirby. Kirby's got a smile on his face still. Here goes return to Papa Smurf. What a stunner on Cooler. And Cooler is done. Wow. Kirby is still impressing me here, my friends. Is this going to be Kirby's rubble? Is Kirby going to win episode eight? Not if Papa Smurf has anything to say about it, but a reversal and then a jawbreaker. Papa Smurf. The magician that he is, the wizard that he is. Maybe he'll pick up a spell and get rid of the blob. Gargaros, is he going to get rid of Kirby? Here comes the return of lion -O from the Thundercats at number 22. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh! This is the best looking lion -O I could find, my friends, for this 2K24. It's like lion has been in hiding. He needs a haircut. He's got the glove, but he doesn't have the sort of omen with him. And now he is stunned. But no one's paying attention. The blob taking on someone smaller than him. Oh, come on. Papa Smurf is a little guy. Remember, Smurfs are only um, uh, three apples high, if I remember correctly. Nice deck breaker from Papa Smurf on the Gargoyles. Here comes Yoshi, the return of Yoshi. Will Yoshi stick out his tongue and swallow someone? Or will Kirby use his um, abilities and suck somebody in? Doesn't, doesn't that what Kirby does? Kind of like Yoshi in a way. Kirby just kind of opens his mouth and just kind of sucks everybody in or anything in. I don't know much about Kirby. Never played any of their Kirby games. Here comes Freddy Fezbear, number 24. Lionel thrown over by Gargaros. But Kirby is there to stop Gargaros. Kirby with a tombstone. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be a tombstone. But he just double need him right in the face and send Gargaros. Gargaros thrown over and Freddy eliminated him. Kirby wanted to do it, but Freddy was there. Yoshi thrown over and uh, no, not out. Freddy can't get you quick elimination. Papa Smurf with a ready in here. on to Freddy. Yoshi and Kirby now. Here comes the return of Panthro at number 25. Another member of the Thundercats. Let's see how Panthro does. Oh, he goes right after Lion-O. His good friend and teammate. Gorilla Press on the Freddy from the Blob. Papa Smurf and Freddy, Panthro and Kirby. Freddy and Panthro now. Freddy picks up Panthro, and oh, what a leg drop! Lion-O using his knees on Kirby's face, and then now he's forearming a whole bunch of times onto Freddy. That kind of kind of confused Freddy there for a minute. Nice hip toss from Freddy on the blob. Here comes Uncle Ira, at number 26, and Yoshi and Kirby, and Kirby is stunned. Can Yoshi? Oh no, nope. Yoshi decides to go after Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. With a stamp suplex. The blob thrown over by Uncle Ira. And Papa Smurf. Oh, I thought he was going to try to eliminate Yoshi, but no, Yoshi got out of it. Wow. There's tension between the two Thundercats here today, my friends. Freddy is just stunned on the ground because the two Thundercats are after each other. End of days from the blob on Uncle Ira. Uncle Ira is stunned. The Blob decides to go after Freddy instead of picking up Uncle Ira. Then Papa Smurf sees Kirby. And lion -O is still going after Panthro. Okay, easy, guys. What, is Panthro jealous that you're the leader of the Thundercats, lion -O, or what? I mean, Panthro was the one that...
created all the vehicles and all the computer stuff. And Kirby has been eliminated, unfortunately. I thought he was going to go all the way. And Lion-O is... No! Uncle Ira cannot eliminate Lion-O. lion -O and Uncle Ira. Freddy and Papa Smurf. Now Papa Smurf and Yoshi. Pan throwing the blobber down. Pan throw with a beautiful running neck breaker onto the blob. Now Papa Smurf kicks him in the kidneys. Oh, Will Barrow into a DDT from Papa Smurf on to Uncle Ira. Pan throw gets lion -O down. The lion -O gets up and stuns the season nine champ. Is lion -O going to get rid of the season nine champ? Is this it for the blob? Lino is very much hesitating here. Oh, the blob got saved thanks to Panthro. Here comes the return of Hank Hill. I'll tell you what, these millennials these days don't know anything about propane and propane accessories. Yep. Oh, I wish I could have the Hank Hill voice, honestly. Wow, Uncle Ira don't like Hank Hill at all. Hank Hill is down. Papa Smurf thrown over, not out. Panther in the corner, Hank Hill under the ropes. Yoshi. Nice standing bulldog onto Freddy. Freddy is stunned. Uncle Ira thrown over by the blob. The blob hits Uncle Ira once. Christ, Lino interferes. Russian leg sweep from Lino onto the blob. Now he starts bashing away on the blob's face. Real barrel into a DDT from Papa Smurf onto Hank Hill. Papa Smurf picks up Hank Hill. And down Hank goes. Hank is now stunned. Lionel has been eliminated by Uncle Ira. That'll make Panthro happy. I'm sure Panthro wanted to eliminate his good friend Lionel. But will pa Panthro about to join Lionel in the back? Can Yoshi do it? Will Freddy be joining Lionel? No. Now Uncle Ira is not going to be joining him either. And Panthro is not either. Okay. Nice double drop from Freddy onto the blob. Hank with a nice big boot onto Freddy. And it just pushes Uncle Ira out of the way. Papa Smurf holding the clothesline from behind. Yoshi has been eliminated by Panthro. Snap suplex from Papa Smurf onto Hank. Uncle Ira was just waiting for someone to show up and then kicks Papa Smurf and Panthro has been No! Freddy can't do it. Can the blob eliminate Hank Hill? No, Hank blocks that hit. Papa Smurf and Uncle Ira now. Oh, Freddy is stunned thanks to Panthro. 28 is Shrek. And Freddy is done. And Hank Hill is about to be done. No. Ooh, Papa Smurf, that was a mistake. Shrek is like three times bigger than you. Maybe four times. Look at that strength from Papa Smurf! Look at that strength! <laughs> That's awesome! Now the blob and Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf has really gotten into some trouble with these big boys. Nice bulldog, one hit. And oh, Papa Smurf is not ready to go. Twenty-nine is Elmo! Elmo's world, la 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. Elmo knows where you live. Elmo knows how to count and sing the alphabet and lots of other things Elmo knows how to do. But does Elmo know how to win a Royal Rumble? <laughs> Got you on that one. Oh my God, we have not had a final eight in a long time. And who is number 30? It's Grover. Number 30 is Grover. Oh. -ho! Can Grover join his alter ego, Super Grover, in the Season 10 Championship? Stamp suplex from Grover on the pan throw. Uncle Ira is in trouble. He's eliminated. The Blob's been eliminated by Elmo. Elmo has eliminated the Season 9 Champ. Just like that, we're down to six. We had eight, now we have six. See, Elmo, I can count. Backwards. Panthro is now stunned. Elmo into the corner by Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf's pretty impressive here. So is Hank Hill. Hank Hill with a headbutt onto Grover. Shrek and Hank. Hank thrown over. What is Shrek going to do? He goes right after Papa Smurf. 
Nice suplex from Shrek on the Papa. Now Shrek and Elmo. Hank interferes in that. Now Hank Hill and Shrek. And beautiful DDT from Elmo on the Panthro. Gorilla press from Shrek on the Hank Hill. Grover misses the big boot. Now Grover and Hank. Papa Smurf misses that drop kick. Panther thrown in the corner by Elmo, but then he elbows him. Papa Smurf with a beautiful drop kick on the Shrek. And he eliminated Shrek. No, he did not. I thought he did. Oh, Papa Smurf almost eliminated Shrek. That would have been huge. Grover and Hank. Hank with a reversal. Grover over and Hank ignores him. Panther is still in this. Panther picks up Hank Hill. Carries him across the ring, but Hank Hill stops Hank Hill and gets out of it. Hank's gonna try it again, but Panther's like, I don't think so, Hank. Now Hank is punching on Panther. Nice basement drop kick from Papa Smurf on the Shrek. Now the two members of Sesame Street are going after each other. The two monsters, the two good friends. Grover and Elmo, now Grover and Hank. Papa Smurf and Elmo. Elmo wires hooked into the corner. Papa Smurf is going to try to eliminate Elmo. Panther is going after Shrek. Shrek with a block. Grover and Shrek now. Grover with a reversal. Shrek thrown over. Panther interferes. Elmo didn't get eliminated. Grover headbutted into the turnbuckle. Then reverses. And Panther is done. Grover eliminated Panther. Just like that, we're down to five. What do we got planned here, Super Grover? Oh no, I'm sorry, not Super Grover. Regular Grover. Ha <laughs> uh, He was going for a choke slam, it looks like. Oh! That's right, Grover, go underneath the ropes. That's right. Whew. Oh my goodness, Grover is stunned. Hank could have eliminated him. Hank thrown over and Shrek ignores him. I just love that so much. Not. That they try to do an elimination and then they ignore them. Oh no, Grover! You made a mistake! Grover made a huge... Okay. Oh, Elmo can't eliminate him, thank goodness. Oh, Hank's gonna try again. No, he's gonna double-team. Double noggin knocker from Grover onto Elmo and Hank. Hank over the ropes. And Papa Smurf got back break. Oh, Elmo from behind on Grover. Grover into the ropes. A duck. And Grover reverses, then headbutts. Hank is stunned. Hank Hill is about to be eliminated by Shrek. Just like that, it's down to Papa Smurf, Shrek, Elmo, and Grover for our final four in episode number eight, my friends. Is Elmo going to eliminate Grover? No. Can Papa Smurf eliminate Shrek? He does! Oh my goodness! What a neck breaker! It's down to three! Elmo, Grover, and Papa Smurf! Wow! What a three! Final we have today, my friends. Who's going to win this? Will Grover join Super Grover in the Season 10 Championship? Will Elmo win a Rumble? Will Papa Smurf win a Rumble? I don't think Elmo's won a Rumble. I don't think Papa Smurf has won a Rumble either. Grover's won the last two seasons. Rumbles, but not Championship. Nice Eric Arana from Papa Smurf onto Grover. Now Papa Smurf picks up Elmo and suplexes him. Oh, Papa Smurf misses that drop kick onto Grover. Oh, another duck and a miss. Atomic drop. And now Grover and Elmo. Reversal. Oh, drop kick, because Grover turned right into that drop kick. Papa Smurf is in trouble. Oh, I thought it was going to be down to the two Sesame Street members. Elmo thrown over by Papa, but he blocks him. Elmo back. Elmo knows how not to get eliminated until now. Oh, what a big move from Grover. Oh, Grover can't eliminate Elmo. Come on, guys. Work on Papa Smurf. Let's get rid of Papa Smurf. Let's have the Battle of the Sesame Street. Monsters. And that is what I will call this episode. If it's down to the final two, I will call it the Battle of the Sesame Street Monsters. Blue versus red. I don't know yet. But the Battle of the Sesame Street Monsters sounds pretty good to me. Elmo picks up Grover. And oh, Grover is now stunned. 
Papa's Murph doing some gymnastics there now around the world. And Elmo is down. Stomp on Elmo from Papa Smurf. Now Papa Smurf working on that right arm of Elmo. Picks up Elmo. Come on, Elmo. Reverse. 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 Elmo in the corner. And then Papa Smurf with an elbow. Oh, what hits Papa Smurf is doing to Grover. Oh, oh, reversal. Reversal. Oh, nice big boop. Oh, drop kick from Elmo on a Grover. Oh, what a reversal from Grover. Grover doesn't know what to do. Oh, okay, Elmo with the reversal. I don't think Elmo's made it this far in a long time. Oh, what a stunner. That's uh, Grover's opportunity to get rid of Grover or uh, Elmo. Oh, it's the Battle of the Blues now. Grover and Papa Smurf. Bill Barrow into a DDT. Elmo has been eliminated. I really wanted to see the Battle of the Sesame Street members. They were both 29 and 30. Oh, Grover misses the big boot again. Reversal from Grover. Nice hip toss. Papa Smurf is down. Papa Smurf's trying to roll out of the way, but Grover's like, I think not. Snap suplex. Papa Smurf right up, though. Whoa. Now Papa Smurf with a snap suplex. No. Grover with a reversal. I think Papa Smurf was going for a brain buster. And Papa Smurf thrown into the ropes, but not over. Come on, Grover. Oh, another hair karana from Papa Smurf onto Grover. It kicks him right in the gut. Jawbreaker from Grover onto Papa Smurf. Opportunity. And Grover did it. Grover is one. Oh, my gosh. Episode 7, Super Grover won. Episode 8, regular Grover won. Wow. Both Grovers are in the season 10 championship how exciting is that my friends wow you guys are probably like thinking but super grover is the same as grover no he is not in my opinion because no one knows his secret identity of super grover because <laughs> he's a waiter anyways my friends what a spectacular episode eight this was what a spectacular season 10 this is turning out to be this has been one of the best seasons we've had in a while. Thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until I get to talk to you guys again in the next video, I am out of here. We'll talk again soon, I promise. Bye for now.